Let's see where I get to on this. My little man on my pillow. We've got quite a busy day today. We need to wake up. He's like sprawled all over the pillow like he cannot go on with life. Is it a tough life being you? <laughs> He's so sleepy. We had a bit of an issue with Duke and I don't even want to tell you because it's like so awkward. He's had an issue with his anal glands. <laughs> Is that funny? No, no, it's not funny, but it's like, I want to tell you because now I need to go and give him all his medicine. But also, he's feeling really sorry for himself. He has infected anal glands, which is not... It's as cute as it sounds. It's as cute as it sounds. And he went to the vet, he got them squeezed, injected with stuff. And they might actually, if this continues, because this has happened quite a few times now, need to full on remove his anal glands. So I'm going to feed him and give him his medicine. And then I have a Nocado order coming, which is my food shop for the week. And I actually have a really busy day, which is kind of rare at the moment, considering we're still in lockdown. But I have a, a lockdown busy day. <laughs> My Ocado order arrived. This is the contents of it. I've ordered so much veg from Natura, which is my favorite place for fruit and vegetables. Look how big this lemon is. That really excites me. Natura basically is fruit and vegetables, minimum intervention, and their pears right now are so good. They only do foods that are in season and locally sourced and grown. And pears are currently in season and they're so juicy. They're just so good. And I don't even normally like pears. Biona do my favorite nut butters. So I got cashew and hazelnut, which I love. But this I put on my vegetables. This is duca. Um, oh, crap. It's like a herb mix, basically. This I haven't tried yet. I'm going to have this for breakfast, I think. This is the Gales. Oh, no. This isn't it. Oh, they must have, um, they must have swapped it. The Gales do this sourdough that I haven't tried yet and I wanted to try it but I think sometimes if they're out of stock they stop and they swap it for something else so they've swapped it for this so I'm still gonna eat this <laughs> whatever um but I will try the Gales one at some point got my hazelnut milk got the spinach look how big these spinach leaves are they're huge got my favorite little chocolate snack Livia's Nuglets the best peppermint so you don't have sugar in them some raisins for my porridge this is the only thing I get that isn't in season right now which is from um, M&S because they're on the pot of beans and also frozen french fries from McCain which are the best french fries breakfast and this is the supplement I'm taking at the moment all right I've got dressed I'll show you my outfit of the day before we leave but I'm doing my makeup I've done my eyes and eyes always look a bit weird before you've got the rest of your face on, don't they? I have to say, I'm really quite happy with my skin at the moment. I'm taking really good care of it. It's made me feel good. The one thing I've always struggled with is my under eye bags. Like, they are, they are horrific. Like, really, really bad. Especially, like, you know, when you look down, you really see them. Obviously, I have nothing on them at the moment. I've moisturized my face and everything. But I wanted to tell you about a new concealer that I have been trying since mid-December. And it's just coming out now. I keep everything in here. This is my Amelia Liana makeup bag, which fits my whole face and some, and my skincare. So I'll link it down below if you want to get one. Um, the new concealer is from my favorite range from By Terry. And I've been trying it out since mid-December, which means that I've had a really good test run of it, I would say. I have three different shades. The shades are super 
forgiving. They're actually really flexible because even if I use the lighter shade or the darker shade, you'll see it just blends so seamlessly with my skin. I normally use a corrector under my eyes, but with this, I kind of feel like I don't need it. What I'm actually going to do first is just bronze my face before we use this because I feel like I need a bit of a glow in my life. And I am using my By Terry Brightening CC Serum, which is my favourite. This guy is like, oh, you know what this is like? You know when you're feeling down in the dumps and you feel like crap and then you have something, you eat something really yummy and sugary or like a homemade pie or something and you just feel, you feel warm inside and you feel alive again? This is that for your face. Oh, throw it back to being tanned. <laughs> Then I think I'm going to use, I mean, I would use my Hyaluronic Hydra Foundation, but I'm going to use my Terribly Doss List today. By the way, before we get going, I actually have a By Terry 20% off code. Ooh, that's still a bit too light for me. Oh well. Which is super exciting because you can get 20% off a brand new product. Like, when does that ever happen? The majority of the By Terry website, really. So if you wanted, oh, oh, if you wanted this palette, which I've been using, since it came out in summer and I always feel really bad because you can never get hold of it. It came back in stock around Christmas time. So if you want that 20% off, you can get that below. Or if you just want any of your faves, really, you can get them 20% off. So this is the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Concealer. It has a little click stick mechanism with a brush at the end. So super, super easy to apply. I have three shades. This is 300, I have 200, and I also have somewhere in here, here we go, 400. I think today I'm gonna to use 300, which is medium fair. And what I do is I take it on the inner corner all the way right up there. If you look down, you can see your bags really, really, really nicely. And I almost brush it onto my skin. It has like a really velvety consistency. True to the By Terry Hyaluronic Acid range, I'm gonna use a bit of the lighter shade right in the middle here. This has hyaluronic acid in it, which means it's so hydrating. The one thing I found when I was trying this out from the beginning, from the get-go, was how well it lasts on the skin. And considering I have an actual busy day today, <laughs> Then we can test it out together and I'll show you. It really smooths the fine lines under my eyes. Here is my before. This hefty, hefty bag and this is the after. Which is kind of crazy. Like when I look at you like this, I mean how amazing does that look? Especially if I look up, you can really see. And if I look down, look at that. All that redness and that sallowness. <laughs> Um, just has disappeared, <laughs> so that's good, isn't it? And I mean, even if I use one of the lighter shades or the darker shades, the shades are so forgiving. I don't use it liberally at all, as you can see, mainly because I feel like I really need it. And if I wanted to kind of bring it down to brighten my face a bit, I could do that as well. I have a nice little bit of mask knee here. Like people keep asking me what mask knee is. Mask knee is mask acne. I can't believe you haven't heard that before. I'm just gonna cover it. Because this concealer is quite velvety and matte, it's really good for blemishes. So can you see that little, little guy? It just hasn't quite been covered with my foundation. There we go. This palette, this beautiful palette is my go-to. If we were going out and about and I was doing my makeup on the go, this would be the one for my cheeks. If you're a similar skin color to me, these shades work so beautifully on us. Like this pinky blush, mm, makes my apples look so juicy and nice. People always ask what I'm wearing on my cheeks when I wear this palette. And then the highlighter shade which is like nice and golden. You know what I really need to get with the Terry discount is another one of these. Look at my ombre black star, there's nothing left. I can't, I can't actually twist anymore. Oh, itchy nose. What I'm gonna do today is show you how well this concealer lasts on the skin, because honestly I'm just, I'm blown away by the texture of it, the consistency, how hydrating it is, how long lasting it is. It's just a winner and already I'm like, yep, it's a favorite for 2021. <laughs> well, I've just squeezed about the right amount out of that. My makeup is now done. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? No. <laughs> so now you can see my concealer 
Oh. Now, normally, actually, what I would do really quickly before I leave is just put a bit of powder, my hyaluronic hydro powder. Basically, everything in this range is just a huge win. I might just do a little bit of that here and here. Okay, now let me show you my outfit because I'm going for a walk. <laughs> I'm leaving the house, <laughs> no reason. I actually have a relatively busy day today. I am seeing Guy, I'm seeing Natasha, I have acupuncture, and I'm gonna be out and about in London all day. Seeing as I'm gonna do my acupuncture in town, I wanna see my friends. Natasha and I are working on a little side project together, so we wanted to talk about that and hang out, go for a walk, get outdoors, get outside. Even though it's like rainy and grim, it's just, it still makes a difference going outside. Anyway, I'm wearing a lot of Raimi at the moment. <laughs> um, I'm wearing my silver amels and my emerald amels. I feel like the emerald's gonna do really, really well. and People are gonna love them, just so far from what people have said in the comments. These are launching on the 16th of February with the silver as well and a whole restock of all the collection because I think the majority, all of it, I think, has actually sold out. And also amethyst and rose parry is launching too so what am i wearing i am wearing this bodysuit which is one of my favorite staples actually just like a plain old white bodysuit and then this free people cardigan over the top of that maybe i should wear a blazer or this little guy i have actually gone for my l'agence coat with my new bag and hands down the best bowling trainers and one of my best purchases of 2020 these golden goose ones fragrance of the day little love extreme this is the new version from killian oh it smells so good i smell amazing can't get enough I need to stop must stop must stop must stop must stop i changed coats because i felt like i needed a coat with a hood in case it rained very likely scenario given that we're in London. I forgot to tell you the time when I started doing my makeup and everything that was around 9, 9.30. It's already 12ish. Just to give you timestamps throughout the day on how my concealer is lasting. I mean obviously it's lasted three hours. I wouldn't even bother showing you a concealer that doesn't last three hours so I'm not going to give you an update now but later throughout the day I'll give you an update. Today I have something coming to the house that I'm so excited about and it is the most un me thing ever, but I'm still really excited to, to, to get it. I've actually rented a bike. I've rented a bike. Now, I know, I know I'm the only person on planet Earth that doesn't own a Peloton and isn't renting a Peloton. I've actually rented it from a bike studio in London that's now closed and so they're making money now by renting out their bikes while they're closed. So I thought that was such a brilliant idea. It's called Dig Me. They're delivering the bike to me. You can rent two bike shoes with it. And I kind of thought like, let me do this month to month renting thing rather than like commit to a Peloton, commit to the Peloton app. And like, then I'm stuck. And if I don't like it, I have this huge bike at my house and what am I gonna do with it? And also Dig Me, you can literally get them like the next week rather than like Peloton, it's like three months wait list. I know everyone on planet Earth now is talking about a Peloton and like classic me, I'm just gonna talk about what everyone's not talking about. So <laughs> I'm really excited because you can do the live classes with them um, or you can do whatever you like. I know there are, I use Apple Fitness a lot and there are bike classes on Apple Fitness as well. So let's see where I get to on this. I haven't been on a bike in over a year. So this could be a disaster. This is why I wanted to like get it from potentially a minimum period of time um, but I do really feel like I need some some cardio and some like movement in my life I'm not running right now because it's just too cold and I did really enjoy my my running cardio kick that I got anyway I'm going to see Guy now he has been away for work for like a month and then he was on holidays on Christmas holidays like before that so I haven't seen him for a couple months just parked my car on Mount Street in Mayfair which is like crazy empty I mean you could never walk into the middle of the road and just stand here normally like Scott's this is a really kind of famous restaurant in Mayfair it looks really sad when it's closed all the shops like Linda Farrow, there's a Louboutin down there, Goyard. Goyard normally has a queue like all the way down Mount Street. 
and nothing. I mean, it still looks really beautiful when it's empty, but it's, it is crazy walking through London just seeing absolute nothingness and like the shop fronts empty. Some brands have just taken, oh, there's someone in there, have just taken everything out their shop windows. Le Bouton obviously haven't. Some of them have just turned their lights off. Oh yeah, if you look over there in Celine, there's just like a, an emptiness of nothingness shop. Some brands are using this to redo their stores this time. Just like take everything out. Yeah, like look at Balenciaga. There's just nothing there. Oh, this is Guy's car. <laughs> you guys have probably seen it before. It's the cutest car, isn't it? <laughs> Only him. Only him. All right, let me go find him. That's the Connaught over there where a lot of brands do like press things and it's a hotel, by the way. <laughs> Forgot to say that. It's like a really nice hotel. Um, some hotels have stayed open for like business purposes, but they're one of the ones that have closed. Mount Street's looking very bleak and empty. It is kind of crazy. Look at these one. amazing croissants. Do you have they're a custard? custard oh, yeah. yeah. Can I get one of the custard one, please? Look at this beautiful, beautiful setup. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look how pretty this is. Wrapped all nice. It's like too pretty to open. I was just telling Guy about my bike. Do you want to know what he said? Do you know what he said when I said I'm getting an exercise bike? Great place to hang coats. Tremendous place to hang coats. <laughs> so you've got both handles and the chair. So you can do like three jackets per handle. Plus you can even fold stuff and put it on the chair. It's an amazing purchase. What? I fully support it. <laughs> Only you would say that about exercise bike. I just think it's gonna be useful Best in the thing house. I've ever heard. We're going patisserie hopping. This is now the Connaught patisserie. <laughs> Lols. Oh my goodness me. Oh my god, I have to get this first day. Next time I see her, little greyhound of chocolate. <gasps> that looks good. <laughs> Buys chocolate and dog just to feel well, something. <laughs> Back in the car, supported all the cute local Mayfair bakeries that I could. <laughs> Bought a chocolate dog got made fun of because guy saw that I keep snacks in my car at all times and he was like is that a lunchbox in your car <laughs> yes and now I'm going to acupuncture I'm trying someone new for acupuncture I've only been to them once before the jury is is out on this one I'm not sure about it I never normally get pain after acupuncture and I've been having acupuncture for like four years and I've tried three different people but I just like for a week have had a pain in my wrist it's almost and I was googling it and then I was like do I have a, a blood clot is there a bit of the needle stuck in <laughs> like you know when you go on google and it's just the world has ended anyway I decided to get off google I'm going back today and I'm just I'm gonna ask him about it and also I, I feel like I, I need to see someone a few times before I have a verdict on the vibes. My concealer has now been on for six hours. So what do we think? I mean, it's like I don't even have under eye bags, isn't it? It's crazy. Um, but I'll keep you posted throughout the day. It just lasts so well. That's like all I have to report <laughs> is how well it lasts. Like it hasn't creased, it hasn't smudged, I haven't touched it. My mascara hasn't run, none of the above. Right, I think it's this one, number 19. I totally forgot to show you my lunch that I'm eating. This is literally all vegetables marinated in dukkha. This box was full. I also had some potatoes, which are done so prettily. But that's my last one because I eat all the potatoes first. Mushrooms, carrots, squash, tomatoes. Whenever I make dinner, so I have something in my teeth, I can feel it. <laughs> Whenever I make dinner, I always make extras because then I just know that I'll be able to have them for lunch. And like right now, I know I just want to eat something quick in my car. So this is perfect. Even though Guy made fun of me for it, I think it's a good idea. <laughs> Walking in Regent's Park now. It's so beautiful and still, but look at this incredible house. God, it's amazing. It is literally almost nighttime in 
Regent's Park. How long have we been walking? I need to see on my Apple Oh my god, we've been walking for an hour and 45 minutes. We've walked past this pit, this point about seven times. And we then, got a bit lost. And I got lost and couldn't find how to get got back. Got a bit lost. Oh yeah, there's that there's that hut. That's where I always Yeah, this know is where we started. Because I have a picture there in the snow. I'll put it in now. But it's like that hut somewhere over there. And um, Regent's Park's actually quite quite social. Bumped into two people. I know more than any people I've seen all year to be honest and um, now we're finally making it back to where we started Wait, no, which is way, the point where, oh this my way. god are you sure yeah because we've got to get over the blue bridge no oh you think it's down no you're right no you know what I'm not trusting you this time this way Dash is really bad with directions and last time, oh about an hour and a half ago, we were like, are we here, are we here? But do you remember we crossed no, no, the bridge? We oh no, we crossed over. the bridge to go out. <laughs> yeah. To go yeah. into the park. Not, yeah. No. So, something in right. that did not make any sense. <laughs> no, we need to go back into the park to get out. Yeah. Yeah, we right. actually need to exit the park before it closes. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am so, so cold. So cold. <laughs> I wanted to show you because now it's around 6 p.m. I can show you my concealer and how well it's lasted. My nose has been running because I've been walking outside for two hours. Can't believe that was a two hour walk. But look how amazing my concealer is. Normally I take off my makeup when I get home, but I think today I'm gonna to keep it on till about 9, 10 p.m. so it's over 12 hours and then you can really, really see how well it lasts and I'll turn on my proper proper studio lights when I get home. We can really inspect my face, it will be glorious. <laughs> I am starving now, so I'm gonna go home. I have some lamb kuftas um, in my fridge, so I'm gonna have those. I've already made those and I'm probably just gonna whack on some rice and have that for dinner. And then, oh yeah, and then I wanna do my nails because my nail regrowth is grim. Oh my goodness, look what I have come home to. The best delivery. Ah, it's a bike, or as Guy would call, a coat hanger. I think I'm gonna try it out tomorrow morning because I'm not really in the mood to work out. <laughs> and I'm, also, I'm probably gonna say this every day it's here, but I have also walked quite a bit today. I have put on a wash. Ta-da. Fed the dog. Do you want to go outside? Is that what you want? Uh, you are a pudding. Uh, you are a pudding, a pudding. Pudding. I miss you, pudding. <laughs> I love you, little pudding. <laughs> You're a snake. You're a snake. You're a snake. A snake. <laughs> oh god. I know everyone thinks their dog is the best dog, but my dog is actually the best dog. He like looks at me, and then he looks at the door, and then he looks at me, and then he looks at the door, and I know he wants to go outside. He's so smart. Anyway. I'm making rice. And I know you're probably looking at some rice, wondering what else is new in my life. The answer is absolutely nothing. <laughs> Except I'm making it differently these days in my rice cooker. As you can see, they're little raisins and almond flakes and butter, and it's just a whole yummy deliciousness. Every time I make rice, people ask me the same questions. How do I make it? What is a rice cooker? Do I need one? Yes, if you love rice, you need a rice cooker. And two, I have a rice recipe, which I filmed like three years ago. I'll link that down below. And how do I make it? I chuck everything in and just let it do its thing. That's how I make it. Concealer update at 8.30. Ooh, I thought while my everything was cooking, we could come and do a face inspection. I have to say, my lipstick's lasted well, hasn't it? But look at the concealer. Now that I can show you with my pro lighting on. I mean, this is like no filter, no nothing. You can probably see all my <laughs> peach fuzz on my face. How amazing is that? Sorry, these marks, by the way, are from Acupuncture Today. He like marks me where the points go in, in case you're wondering why I have a black pen on my chest. Back to my concealer. I mean, wow. Like, nothing is really smudged. You can see the mascara under my eyes. It's kind of faded as of my bottom liner. Maybe a tiny bit of mascara goop there that's literally about it isn't it i mean <laughs> so how many hours is that math 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 
11, 11 hours. <laughs> yes, almost 11 hours. I have to picture a clock in my head and then count it. Anyway, I'm gonna leave the concealer down below because it is seriously, seriously game changing. It's just so velvety and buttery. This is the one, Hyaluronic Hydra Concealer. I'm gonna give you an update right before I go to bed. I won't take my makeup off. I will, however, get into my tracksuits because even though these jeans are baggy, it's just, it's not the one. Now that I'm in my tracksuits, gotta love Pangaea, uh, I'm inspecting my face and you can kind of see my nose, it's kind of separated a bit, but I think that's because I was wearing a mask for like four hours of the day. So it's kind of like a tiny, tiny bit on my nose and that's actually not really even the concealer, that's my foundation and my spot, my spot is still covered, these little guys. Um, but under my eyes is really the best. Like, even if I do that, <laughs> it hasn't separated in my lines. Can you see? Like, it hasn't creased or caked. In here goes my spinach. So I'm on the phone to SAA, so I'll you here in the background. And in here hey. is my... <laughs> she says hey. <laughs> and here is my special sauce, which I'll leave the ingredients to on the screen because it just makes anything taste amaze. This is me trying to replicate the Nobu spinach, but it's not that bad, kind of nice actually. Nobu, Nobu, Nobu. Nobu. And then... Nobu. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> I'm Nobu. <laughs> then I have this sesame seed seasoning, which I put on top, la 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 la. And there you have Nobu for Nobu me. <laughs> Oh, I'm losing it. But anyway, this is actually really yummy. That's all I have to say. Let's check on the rice. Can you see the outer edge of that rice? I'll put a little arrow to the outer edge of that rice. That's when you can tell it's kind of done. These white chocolates from today, officially done -zo. This little guy, however, I kind of broke him. Can you see? Oh, but he looks so cute. Oh, what a beautiful baby. Shh. And that's my dinner. It is now 10 p.m. Which means my makeup has officially been on for, God, I can't do math, 13 hours. Um, I mean, I ate dinner, so there was no way my lipstick was gonna last that, and I could definitely use some powder, but I have not touched my under eye concealer for 13 hours. You know some brands that have those 24 hour makeup claims, like, <laughs> Who's what? <laughs> I have glasses marks around my nose, but apart from that, like, look how hydrated my under eyes still look like normally by the end of the day they're really crusty and a bit gross i'm such a fan of this new concealer and i really wanted to take you through my day and show you how well it lasts like it actually looks like i have no under eye bags doesn't it it's weird because you saw me this morning i definitely knew they're there anyway i'm going to leave a link to it down below if you want to check it out you can do for 20 percent off right now i'll leave the details of how long the code is valid for and i'm going to go and take off my makeup oh that light is just it's awfully bright isn't it <laughs> it's a bit much i'm sorry i'm going to take off my makeup this aurelia miracle cleanser it's normally in a pot, and I much prefer it in this squeezy tube formula. And it smells like a spa. Mm. So that is me for this week. Come and join me on Instagram. My username is at Liliana, and I post there every single day. So I would love to see you over on Instagram. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you next Sunday with another video. Bye, guys.